it was discovered that the asteroid GE3 is on a collision course with Earth. It's only half the lunar distance from us. But fortunately, it seems that its path has changed towards the sun now. What if this space rock, which is the size of a football field, did not shift towards Earth? What would happen if he kept moving towards us? Here's what would happen if an asteroid collided with Earth. Small asteroids hit Earth all the time. Every day, space bombards us with about 100 tons of dust and sand. Car-sized asteroids reach our atmosphere about once a year. It burns in the mesosphere and luckily never reaches our planet. Huge 10 km wide, life-threatening boulders like the one that wiped out all the dinosaurs don't often come to visit us perhaps once every few million years. The ones we have to worry about are asteroids the size of a football field actually making it to Earth's surface. They tend to come down to Earth every 2,000 years. What if one of those was to hit us tonight? The extent of an asteroid's devastation to our planet all comes to where the it lands. Just 3% of Earth's surface is populated. That means, in all likelihood, 97 asteroids out of 100 would just plunge into the ocean or flatten an uninhabited forest somewhere in Siberia or northern Canada. But 3 out of 100 asteroids would strike a populated city. Imagine seeing a 100-meter-long, 330-foot, rock speeding towards you, traveling at 30 kilometers, 19 miles per second. From the moment it passed unharmed through the mesosphere, it would take less than three seconds for it to crash down to Earth. For a city like New York, that would mean a huge fireball would destroy everything in a three kilometers, two mile radius, and cause heavy damage to buildings within a seven kilometers, 4.5 miles radius. Maybe it's not all bad. Ever hear of the meteorite that slammed into the Russian city of Chelyabinsk? That rock exploded with the force of 20 Hiroshima bombs and caused around $33 million worth of damage. Well, in our scenario, the meteorite is five times bigger. The freshly fallen space rock may pose the risk of widespread radiation if it were made up of radioactive heavy metals. Of course, it wouldn't be as bad as a 10 kilometer wide asteroid hitting the Earth. In that case, the shock wave would be enough to wipe out a, a good chunk of humanity right away. The Earth would get a new crater over a 100 kilometers, 62 miles, across and a ring of asteroid debris would give us a Saturn-like appearance. Most of this debris would rain back down on Earth, setting cities and forests on fire and cooking everything that's not protected. You might want to invest in an underground bunker before this happens because on the surface, it would be very, very dusty. All this dust and smoke would block the sunlight. Without our beloved sun, all plants and many animals would die. After about a year, the atmosphere has refined, but there will be little food left for humans. And if we are not resourceful enough, this will be the end of our future. We will suffer the same fate as the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. The good thing is that we have the atmosphere to protect us from most asteroids, and NASA keeps an eye on all the space rocks flying around us. The bad thing is that sometimes it's hard to spot incoming rocks until it's too late. Tell us what you think. Do you think that our fate will be similar to dinosaurs?